Liverpool Ratings October 10 Mac Alistair Steller vs Sheffield Liverpool went back to the top of the Premier League table on Thursday night as they defeated Sheffield United 3-1 at Anfield. Goalkeeper Cuevin Kelleher prevented a nightmare start and was required early on as he diverted an effort from James McAtee, with the Reds receiving an early warning sign in the opening minute. Jurgen Klopp's side soon garnered control of the game, and it wasn't long before the deadlock was broken when Sheffield United goalkeeper Ivo Gerbich handed Darwin Nunez a gift in the 17th minute, clearing a ball into him that bounced back into the net. The visitors enjoyed more space in attacking areas early on in the second half, and got themselves an equalizer when a knockdown from a cross was deflected by Connor Bradley past Kelleher. It was only through a world class effort from Alexis McAllister that Liverpool got back in front capping off what was an instrumental performance from the 25-year-old Argentina international. Two substitutes combined in the 90th minute as Andy Robertson found Cody Gakpo, who headed strongly past the goalkeeper to secure a two-goal advantage, and all three points. Liverpool go back to the top of the Premier League table ahead of Sunday's clash against Manchester, united at Old Trafford with full momentum. An important goal for Cody Gakpo, who is looking to return to form, and yet another stellar display from Alexis McAllister, who looks to be their signing of the season. Liverpool conceded too many chances in a game that should have been more straightforward against the bottom place side in the Premier League. Manager rating, out of 10. Jurgen Klopp, 8. Jurgen Klopp's substitutions and tactical changes were crucial in helping Liverpool apply maximum pressure when the game was pulled back level, with all substitutes playing strongly when introduced with two combining for a goal as Robertson found Gakpo in the 90th minute. G.K. Cuevin Kelleher, 7. An important save from close range denied James McAtee in the opening minute. Not much he could have done about the conceded goal after it took a deflection. D.F. Joe Gomez, 7. Gomez looked confident in possession as he drove with the ball through midfield areas, and he was equally impressive defensively, swiftly recovering the ball when Liverpool lost the ball. D.F. Virgil van Dijk, 6. The Liverpool captain was an assured presence at the back, and calmed his side down when the game was becoming a bit hectic after halftime. Close to scoring with a header from a corner. D.F. Ibrahima Konate, 7. The France international enjoyed his battle with Sheffield United's Ben Brereton Diaz, and was quick to close him down in developing situations. Stopped the counter-attack in the second half with a well-timed tackle on him. D.F. Connor Bradley, 6. A regular outlet down the right flank, Bradley unlocked space inside by timing his runs up the line and getting crosses into the box. Unlucky when deflecting a knockdown past his own goalkeeper. MF Ryan Gravenberch, 6. Important minutes for Ryan Gravenberch who returned to action tonight for his first match since going off injured in the League Cup final. Normally took care of the ball and transitioned it through dribbling and passing, but should have done better with his chance just before the break when slipping as he struck the ball towards goal. MF Dominic Sobosly, 6. Sobosly made intelligent runs into space and that saw him receive the ball in dangerous areas, though his production could have been better. Careless with flicks that conceded possession at times before he was eventually replaced. MF Alexis McAllister, 10. McAllister shined in the deeper role throughout the night, but it was in the final third where he made the difference, producing a sensational effort that left the goalkeeper with no chance. It was one of the goals of the season in an instrumental performance that saw him the man of the match on the night. F.W. Luis Diaz, 7. A dynamic performance from the Colombia International saw him always look to challenge his marker with his dribbling ability, putting constant pressure on the back line who couldn't deal with him even when doubling up. F.W. Darwin Nunez, 7. Nunez picked up the maximum reward for closing down and redirecting the goalkeeper's clearance back into the goal to put the Reds 1-0 up. Lost the ball in the build-up to Sheffield United's goal when he could have been quicker to release it. F.W. Mohamed Salah, 6. A quiet night from Salah who didn't trouble the goalkeeper with his two standout efforts at goal. Replaced at the hour mark with an eye on Sunday's clash at Old Trafford. Harvey Elliott, Salah, 60 foot, 7. Always looked to make something happen, and almost combined with Robertson with an excellent cross to the back post provided much-needed energy and strong decision-making in midfield. Andy Robertson, Graven Birch, 60-foot, 8. Attacked down the left flank relentlessly and was confident on the ball. Came close to scoring before eventually capping off his display with an assist for Gakpo's goal.
Curtis Jones, Soba Sly, 72 foot, 7. Back from injury for vital minutes ahead of the title run in with a promising display. Looked calm under pressure and held the ball up well for his teammates to get into space. Cody Gakpo, Gomez, 72 foot, 7. Came close to scoring with quick feet and a powerful strike at goal but eventually did put Liverpool 3-1 up with a well-placed header past Gerbich. A goal that was crucial in easing nerves around the stadium and one that should do his confidence well.